for those who don't know, I mean, it's, it's something that when I talk to people about it, people still find it unbelievable, but it's true. In many places in Nova Scotia, sewage and just basic like water or electricity was denied to black communities. They were plentiful in white communities in Nova Scotia, yes. but there are many places in Nova Scotia where they never got uh, running water or sewage or electricity. And, right. and I, rem I remember when they put the running water in, in past my house. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, uh, I, I remember when outhouses disappeared. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, and that's something in many parts of Canada was something that happened in the 19th century, but you remember within your lifetime. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's where you sat and read the, 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 the latest uh, Eaton's and Simpson's catalogs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. <laughs> you know? yeah. Uh, yeah. It has a, 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 a whole aura around it, too. Mm -hmm. That's why there's this lovely book I don't know that they call the outhouses of Nova Scotia. <laughs> uh, there's a the book pictures. about the outhouses of Nova Scotia. Oh yeah, oh, okay. it's gorgeous. All right, yeah, I'll have to find it because it's a, like there's a whole world connected with that. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, that th there were political people in my time, and not only this. Mm. This is what, one thing that really blew my mind. Mm. My dad who only went to grade four or five, mm -hmm. was an avid reader. Hmm. He just worked himself way up to there, uh, particularly of uh, um, uh, political, political things and history, history. Um, my dad, as I learned, I, I, I figured this out. <clears throat> he had huge stacks of comic books that he would get from here and there and then. And that's the first reading, and that was my first reading. Mm -hmm. He particularly liked the illustrated classic. Right, of course. And and three he Musketeers. Had a whole and... set. Wow. I devoured them over and over and over and over and over. And then, by the time that I got to grade six and grade seven and knew my way to the library, I matched the book with the comic book. Right. And then read the book. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, this is how I taught one group of my students when I first started teaching and found that they couldn't read. Mm -hmm. And we're in grade seven now. Whoa. Yes. Okay. And that's what I gave them illustrated comics. Right. Yeah. And then we got the book. Yeah. Da, 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 da. That's amazing. And that's how my dad did his thing. And that's how he passed the, the love of reading to me mm -hmm. via that. As he passed to me the love 